Good news, big bro. I'm moving in. Who is it? It's Jen. Oh, Jen, I'm sorry. Gosh, I've just been so security-minded. Jen. Jen, what is it? What's wrong? Uh, Come on. Come on, just sit down. It's all right. It's gonna be okay. Tell me what happened. Joe. Just sent this back. Get up against the wall. Go! You two, Jessica, join her. Hurry! Get over there! All right. It's not too late to work this out the right way. Oh, believe me, Lindsay, it's way too late. If the cops find me here, Lindsay, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They think I killed those women, Lindsay. But you didn't. You didn't. No, I didn't kill anybody! I know that. And, and we just have to make them understand. We'll tell them the yes. same thing you told me, that you're being set up. We can tell them that. Lindsay, they're not gonna believe me. Julie, I believe you. What are you doing? What are you doing? He just sent the ring back? With the letter. I know why we rushed into marriage. It felt right at the time, but it was impulsive. We both need to be free to understand why. We it, it, it was a mistake for both of us. What I wish for is that you learn what you, who you really are and what you want from your life. I'll be doing the same. How could he say it was a mistake? But I, I thought that you agreed with that, Jen. No, I love Joe. He's everything I've ever wanted in life. Jen. Yeah, I'm safe. Oh, well, what about you? When's the last time you got a city inspector to check these stairs? I think about the same century they uh, installed the plumbing. <laughs> but you know what they say? Mm -hmm. Ah, home sweet hotel. Yes? Oh, hello. How are you bearing up? I'm great, but Ace is pretty ticked. If you see him, you should cross the street. You haven't told him. No, no, no. All he knows is that you're taking way too much time off. I didn't tell him you bought this old hotel. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I trust everything's to your satisfaction, sir. Except this. And this would be? <laughs> would be my bathroom sink. Oh, dear. It should be overflowing down the stairs any minute. Uh, Except I turned off the valve for you. Oh, thank you. I'll send up the hotel plumber. There's Immediately. A but there's a hotel plumber. Well, of course. Now, I apologize for any inconvenience. Uh, I love this place. I can't wait to move in with you. As soon as I know that uh, somebody won't follow me into the room with the music box. You're moving in? <laughs> Don't worry, John. I'm not moving into your room. I'm just moving into the hotel. Yeah. Well... Wouldn't the palace maybe be more your style? Um, have you ever seen a resident's paycheck, John? Now, now, that's something that the FBI should be looking into. It's slave labor, buddy, I'm telling you. Uh, anyway, uh, Ronnie Walsh, he's getting sweet here, so I thought, you know, the two of us would split the uh, expenses. Ron Walsh. <gasps> yeah. Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that he's Marcy's brother. No. Well... Well, what? <laughs> well, she won't give me the time of day, man. Why could that be? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's my uncanny ability to say the exactly wrong thing at exactly the right time. Hard to believe. Oh, oh God. 
Michael. Michael. Hmm? Oh. Man. <sighs> you know, sometimes life just, uh, doesn't turn out the way you thought it would. And what, somehow this is news to you? Like some kid unloading his gun into dad? Or some surgeon being so wasted he lets the old man die on an operating table? I gotta make it right. I gotta connect with Marcy, you know? But I don't know how. Well, I mean, maybe you wanna, you know, ease up on the stocking technique. Okay, yeah, I know, okay? I screwed up. I keep screwing up. It's just that... I... I can't stand the thought of her being alone right now, you know? Not with that guy out there. Yeah, me too. I mean, you guys know that it's this uh, MacGyver guy, right? So it's only a matter of time before you pick him up. Just a matter of time. It's so bizarre. What's that? Well, this guy's a doctor, right? And he's trained to save lives. He knows how hard that is. You know, in every crisis situation, you are this close to losing your patient. So, how does a guy who's trained to save lives end up taking them? It's a good question, Michael. Jessica? Oh, God, I can't, I can't take this. It's just like Mitch. Oh, God, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, oh Mitch, my... how could you do this to her? You're making her sick. How could you be so cruel? I... I... I'm, I'm not the cruel one. I'm not the music box killer. I'm not. Oh, oh you're not the music box killer. Uh, then why are you waving this gun all at us? I didn't do I just, I gotta think. I gotta think. Just give me a second. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I just, I, I just have to lay down. I just feel really sick. I have just, to lay down. Do you move, please, just, so she can lay down? She can lay down right there. Just lay, lay down. I just I need to think. I need, I need to, I need to. I didn't say anything to upset him. He's very nervous right now. Lindsay? Yes? Lindsay! Come here. I'm just worried you... about them. I just... I know. I'm worried about you, too. I know. I am trying. I, I want to help how you this prove happens. your innocence. I don't know. I want I don't to help why. you, but it's hard when you wave that okay, turn just, around. Just, just, just put just, the gun down, Everybody okay? needs to be quiet, okay? I just need to think. I just need to think, all right? Just shut up! I just need to think for a second. Just be quiet! Everybody, just... Everybody just shut up, okay? I don't, I don't know why this is happening. I don't... Jessica! I'm, I'm sorry that I frightened you. Get her some... Get her something to calm her stomach. Ginger ale, something, anything, please. Just, just go, please. Please, just let us go, please. Please. You go, I do. But you see, if I let you go, then you're gonna go to the cops. And the cops are gonna come find me, and they think I killed those women, and I didn't kill those women. I didn't kill them, I didn't do it. I'm not, I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. much you love Joe, but I want you to take a moment and I want you to think about how it was. I know how it was. He was always busy with his church business and not with me. No, but you were always running off and talking to Rex. Because he had time for me. He paid attention to me. You know, he wasn't off with 8,000 parishioners instead of me. No, Jen, Joe wasn't saying that. Look, he was saying that that was part of the problem. No, the it bottom line is you think it's my fault, right? No, I am not saying no, you're that. you're thinking it. You're thinking Joe is this perfect saint. I am and not I'm saying that. I'm thinking that it is complicated. You're supposed to be my friend. I am. Jen. I am. Jen. Jen. You're just like everybody else. I am not. Jen, just listen to me. Will you stop? Come on, Jen. You're being ridiculous. 
Will you just wait up? Jen! Hey, your uh, New Year's Eve bash got a great write-up in Lambie Weekly. Oh, did it mention that Midnight Logic had a total meltdown? No, it didn't. It actually just said it was a great hang, correct? Well, yeah, things went pretty well, considering. But it'll be a lot better next year without all the undercover cops. <clears throat> I'm so glad that nobody killed you. Oh, uh, you're all hard. People keep telling me that. Lindsay? Jessica? Get rid of them. Go. Hello? A Antonio? Yeah, hey. What's, what's, what's going on? You okay? Why is the door locked? Um, uh, I, I'm fine. Everything in here is good. It's just, um... Uh, Natalie and Jessica already left with Christian's paintings. Oh, that's strange. I was supposed to pick her up here. Uh, do you know where they went? Uh, no, I don't. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. You know, I was just cleaning and I'm gonna about to jump in the shower, so... Okay. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Okay, no problem. No worries. <laughs> living under the same roof again. To the roof. Who knows? Maybe this time we'll actually get to know each other. Stranger stuff has happened. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, Agent McBain, it's uh, Ronnie Walsh. I'm looking for your brother. Oh, it's Ron. Oh, gosh. I don't have seen the wall. Okay. All right. Hey, Ron. Hey. He is, uh, he's all yours. Good. We were about to move some furniture when he disappeared on me. Oh, he disappeared? Well, that's, that's an old trick of his. Oh, really? You want a beer, Ron? No, no, I want to move some furniture. <laughs> Are you coming or what? Yeah, I'm coming, all so, right. So, tell me, is this a pattern with you? You get soft when there's, you know, hard work to do? You bail out? No, no, you I'm drink good. your beer, too. I uh, do windows yeah, and everything. Windows come on. Go, hey, don't be a stranger, on. Mike. Later on, bro. Let's go, let's go. Uh, yeah, what is it, Vega? Get down to Lindsay Rappaport's gallery, 14 Memorial Street. MacGyver's here. He's got the girls. Antonio, listen to me. Do not do anything till I get there with backup, okay? I am on my way. about you. Really? Here I am. You gonna pour me something? I mean it, Jen. I was worried about you. You went nuts on me on New Year's. You call that nuts? You ain't seen nothing yet. Jen, you're going through a rough time. Let me help. The only way you want to help me is to get me into your bed. You really want to help? Take my makeup exams for me in history. <laughs> Trust me, that wouldn't be helping. It's better than not showing up. Wait, you mean the exam's right now? Well, don't tell me that it's so important that I get a proper education. No, never. I dropped out and I'm doing fine. What do I care? But, well, your mom and dad were so into you getting my a good education. My dad's dead. And my mom has her problems of her own, so no one's gonna cry when I flunk out. Anyway, I'm nothing but a party girl. That's what you said, right? I say a lot of things. Look, nobody loves your wild side more than I do, but you're freaking me out a little. Hey, Rex. What? Big Rex. Your friend Karen. She around? The Karen Reader? Yeah. The entertainment for my cousin's bachelor party got herself arrested. <laughs> I need Karen. I'm just guessing, but you're not really up on the local news, are you? What? The music box killer. 
Karen was one of his victims. Nah, really? Karen's... Yep. She got herself killed. And I had a ringside seat. Lucky me. Only I wasn't exactly conscious of it. Were you a friend of hers? Partied. Right. <laughs> so how about you? What about me? Well, you look like maybe you could do some work. A little sexy dancing. A bunch of easy money. Nigel! Nigel! Hello, gorgeous. Hey, Nigel! Nigel! Roxanne, what is it? What happened to you? Get mugged by a farmer? Farmer? I'm a plumber. I'm plumbing. You plumb? Well, I'm learning. Oh, this place needs more improvements than Mr. Buchanan at its worst. I don't even know when I'll get to the renovation. Why would you change this place? Well, it's so drab. I see it reborn with an understated elegance, a grand hotel Hey, hey, wait sort of... a minute. Are you crazy? This place is so hip. It's so retro. It's so art demo, man. Art deco? Ah! And the first thing to go is that thing. Now, I'm sure it has fleas. This thing? I love this thing. So defleece it. Hey, hey, what do you guys think of this lobby? I think it's great. Right. And Mars? That's his name? Yeah, it reminds me of an ex-boyfriend of mine. Really bad, underbite, really great kisser. Well, he's a great concierge, if uh, <laughs> it's actually a he. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. But I gotta tell you, Morris is how I knew this place was definitely for me. Yeah, it's got um, great ambiance. <laughs> See, nice, the place is perfect just the way it is. Yeah, I mean, come on. This, this town already has the palace, right? Why do that again? But I... Nice, just so shut up. All you gotta do is, you know, clean it, dust it, you know, fluff it, buff it, puff it. You know, that's all you have to do. Definitely. No redecorating. Keep the place just like it is. No changes. See? The people have spoken. They planted that red lantern. Right. They must have. They, pl they planted it in my cell at States. Well, how would I? How would I get? Where would I get one? They, Antonio must not have seen the note. Crying. It's been too long. They killed her. Maybe, maybe we can just go to the back and send some, 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 some like that. sort of signal or something, you know? Now she's dead. They're going to blame that on me, too. Troy, Troy the only way that you're going to prove your innocence is by turning yourself in. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to the bathroom. To sit down! She's sit down! Get over there! Sit down! What are they doing? Why are they doing this? Why is everybody doing this to me? Just... What? Lindsay? What? Lindsay, I... You told me the girls took Christian's Rachel. paintings. You know, I've been trying to call them, but I, I can't... I can't get through to them. I was wondering, maybe... Antonio, I don't know where they went. Well... You, you know what? Maybe I could come inside and use your phone. My cell phone battery's ready to die. I'm sorry, Antonio. I don't know where they are. Lindsay, I'm really worried about them. Can you please just open the door? Please, th let me use the phone. Drop it, MacGyver! Drop the gun! I'm not the killer. I didn't I do didn't it. Drop it, man! I didn't do it! I'm not the killer! I know! I'm not the killer! I wasn't me! Consider yourself under arrest! I'm not the killer! All right, get him up. I'm Read him his I'm rights in the van. The then we'll get him back killer. to the station. Read him to him again, this time on videotape. I'm not the killer! Let's, I'm not the on. killer! I didn't do get it! Get out of here! I didn't do it! Keep going. I didn't do it! I'm not the killer! I didn't do it! I'm not the killer! I'm not the killer! I didn't do it! I'm not the killer. I didn't do it. I 
Hey, can we see my brother? Nuh-uh. I'm afraid I was otherwise engaged for all the good I did. I saw him, but uh, he cut out of here like a bat out of hell. Really? And he got a new lead on the killer. Maybe there was another victim. Nigel, what are you doing there with that faucet and hammer? What are you doing there? I'm afraid this little gizmo and I had something of a difference of opinion. All right, yeah, give it up. I'll take a look at that for you. Oh, you're a saint. I'll let you know how it goes. Hey, Ronnie. Uh, I'm gonna take off, all right? I got something to take care of. All right, we'll see you later. Oh, with that face and body, you could just about fix anything. And that Michael McBain? He's a hottie, too. You know, this place is turning into Testosterone Central. So I think we should give it a new name. What do you think? Absolutely not. How much money are we talking? Jen, I don't know if this is such hey, a good idea. No, I'm not talking to you. What kind of money? 800. <laughs> Okay, okay. What'd you have in mind? More. Hmm. 875. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. A thousand. Up front. Well, darling, you better be worth this. A bargain at twice the price. Jim, this really is not hey. a good plan. It... Why? Just because you only want me to dance for you? Money up front. I look forward seeing the rest of you later. Bring your own music, and there'll be about 20 of us. I was wondering if maybe, maybe you could use your history with MacGyver, see if you can't get a confession out of him. That's not exactly my role as a department psychologist, John. I know. I know what I'm asking, but I want this to be over. Oh, John, come on. This isn't as cut and dried as ballistics. You know that. MacGyver did this. A confession will save this town a long trial. They've been put through enough already. I know. Well, after you called me, I, I put a call in to Stephen Haver. I, he's on his way over. I hope that's all right. Whatever you think's best. Well, he seems to feel that he's got a rapport with him. You know, I, I think it could help. I do. I hope so. Oh, Stephen, hi. It's me, Bain. How are you? Fine. Thank you for coming, Dr. Haver. One moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring him in. John was saying that he thinks Troy is still pretty agitated. Violent? No. He's just being loud about being innocent, being framed, all those kind of things. I was thinking maybe you two could talk to him or... Uh, our traditional methods of questioning are getting us nowhere. That sounds like a good idea. Do you have any place a little more neutral than the station? Can't do it. I did set you up in the commissioner's office. It's the best I can do on this notice. Yeah, that should be on me. Well, look, everybody's here, huh? Huh? Well, you're all wasting your time because I told you I didn't do it! I didn't do it! You came here to question the bad guy, but I'm not the bad guy. I told you I didn't do it. I'm being framed here. You need to go out and look for the guy who did do it! Jen, what are you doing? Just trying to earn some money. Stripping for fervor? Oh, who are you? Her agent? Who are you? Well, you know what? I already know who you are. You're a suit. Excuse me? Well, you dress in $2,000 suits, and you think that you can buy and sell anything that you want. This is between the young lady and me. Well, you can't, because she's my friend. Why didn't you stop this, Rex? Oh, hey, don't blame me if Jen wants to... Do you think he really cares about you? How would you know, Marcy? Because you treat her like dirt, Rex. Okay, loudmouth. If we don't have a deal, I want my money back. Oh, you want your money back? All right, start stripping. Ooh. It's my money. Well, it's in my hand. Give it to me. I think that the cops are going to want to know why you gave Jen all this money, is what I think. Okay, you know what? I really don't think you want to make a mistake here, okay, buddy? Right? Take oh. stupid money. That's my commission. Okay. Yep, there you go. You didn't have to go off like that, Marcy. Somebody had to. Jen, what were you thinking? I wasn't, okay? It's no big deal. Yes, it is. You were about to make a huge mistake, and I am not going to stand here and let my friend make that kind of a mistake. How can you even stand to be friends with me anyway? Because we are friends. 
That's what friends do. They stick together. Even if you say something stupid. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that. I just, I just do everything wrong. No, you don't. You really don't. Don't start crying. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> You're so great. Thank you. For button in? <laughs> For everything else. As a rule, I welcome input, but with certain matters, I give no ground. You know, you are making such a big mistake because this is a golden opportunity. Alas, poor me. Okay, I'll make you a deal, all right? You don't change the lobby, I don't change the sign. What sort of deal is that? I've got a lobby that looks over left over from some old movie and a porcupine out of some taxidermist nightmare. What happened to my dream of a small, elegant hotel? Elegant? Smell elegant? Who cares about elegant, you know? If you change this place, you're gonna have to go crawling back to Ace on your hands and on your knees to hire you back. I technically am still in Mr. Buchanan's employ. You what? I remember you. Good. That's good. Do you remember my name? No. I don't. I'm sorry. Things have been a little crazy lately. Stephen Amber. We met out at Statesville when I was interviewing you for my book. No. I believe we met in the visitation room, remember? You gotta get me out of here, man. Ray, I'm being sent help. You gotta get me out of here, please, Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray please. You are entitled to a lawyer. No, you understand Ray, no, that, no, don't you? No, I don't need a lawyer, Ray, because I'm not guilty! Troy, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, you got to... Troy, listen, why don't we sit down? Come on, let's sit down. We can Ray. talk. Come on, please. Go ahead. Come on. Listen, Lisa. Well, it's okay. Sit down. Listen, it's okay. All right, now. Can you tell us about the passes that you got from Statesville? How did you get them? I, I was better. I was doing better, right? Do you know that the six passes you got coincide with the six murders? That's from what I'm the... saying. That's exactly how I know I'm being framed, Ray. The timing is way too perfect. What other explanation is there? That's what we're trying to understand. We're hoping you can help us. <laughs> Seems like you're about to explode. Oh, my God, I couldn't help it. He just got me so angry. That creepy just made me so mad. Mercy, thank you so much. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. I don't even know who I am anymore. Listen, I know who you are, and you're not someone that needs to strip for money or go dancing in one of those clubs, you know? I'm serious about this. Jen, you could have went off with someone who could have been the music box killer. God, my mom is so freaked out that they would just let Troy walk out of prison like that. <laughs> Wait, are you crazy? Who's out there? Uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's me. Well... Well, what are you doing? Um, I, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to, to scare you. <laughs> are, are you going camping? Well, sort of. Um, listen, I, I know that you think that I'm like a crazy stalker or something, but uh, I just wanted to make sure you were all right. You know, I didn't even want you to know. I just wanted to make sure you weren't all alone. You know, not with everything that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Were you going to sleep out here? Oh, yeah, I still am. Uh, no, 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 no. No, I am fine. I am okay. I have company. Oh. So I guess you don't need me. Nope. All right. Well, see ya. Bye. God, he's such a creep. Oh, my God, sometimes he's just, he's such a jerk, and then other times he winds up doing something that's just sweet and protective. Yeah, sleeping outside your door, that is, that is sweet and protective. And weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's something Al would have done. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute! You didn't quit, Asa? Well, I was rather hoping if I took enough time off, he'd fire me. Spare me the indignity and trouble of resigning my position. Where are you living, man? In Fantasia, he can't even lace up his little booties without you. Why do you think he would let you go? Uh, out of pity or rage. Let me tell you something. If you go there and quit, you better be wearing full body armor because that man is going to go berserk. It was Colin. It was Colin. Colin. Colin was the bad one. He. He was the one that would hurt people, not me. No, Ray. I. I was the the good twin. It was Colin. He would hurt people. I. I just looked like Colin. You killed Claire Baxter. Even if you were delusional. You almost killed Nora Buchanan, no. and Gabrielle Medina you left in the morgue to no, die. No, 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 Ray. I was the one that told Nora about Gabrielle. I was sick, Ray. I wasn't myself. When you say sick, do you mean the way that your brother Colin was sick? Look, I guess that I was Colin for a while. But then I was getting better. You can ask the nurses. Ask, ask Nurse Craig. She's the one who gave me the passes because I was doing better. The psychiatric nurse at Statesville. Yes, nurse. Nurse. Nurse Craig. She's dead. She was murdered. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, Ray. I didn't. I'm not saying you did. I, I, look, I'm confused. Why did she give you the passes? Why is that so confusing? It's because I am better now! Okay. All right. I believe you. But try to be more specific. Did she tell you anything? I don't remember her telling me anything. I just remember... I just remember being happy to be out. I really thought I was... I was doing better, Ray. And you felt that you earned those passes, right? Yes. And that you certainly weren't a threat to anyone. No. And you were given the passes because you were doing better. Yes. Because you deserved them. Exactly. Not because you were framed. No, Ray. No, it was both. It was because I was framed and because I was doing better. Why is that so hard to believe? All right. Here's something else. Can you tell us what you did when they gave you the passes and you got out of Statesville? Of course. I just, I remember being happy to just. What did you do free. exactly? Can you remember? Watching exactly. Me. I used to go to this one bar. Uh huh. I liked it there because I could think there. No one would bother me. It was out of the way. I saw Gabrielle there a few times. When you were out on your passes, yeah. was there ever a time that you remember exactly what you were doing for the whole time? Uh, yeah. What exactly do you mean by that? 
tell me, did you ever find yourself someplace that you didn't remember getting to? Couple of times, yeah. Yeah. But that's that's because I was thinking. I I was thinking, right? I would just walk and think, that's why. Is it possible that you just blacked out? You said before, Troy, that you were your brother for a while. Now, is it possible, just possible, that that could have happened again and you weren't conscious of it? Colin took over and you just didn't know? You think I might have killed those women without knowing it? Is that what you're saying? Is it possible? It's just so bizarre how Lindsay's just so sure that Troy's not the music box murderer. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I, I mean, after everything he's done to her, and especially after tonight. We've got all your statements and contact information. We'll be in touch if we need to get a hold of you. Right, thanks. Right. Thank you. Well, let's go get Christian's paintings. Yeah, good idea. Well, I'm glad everyone's okay. Might I ask you one question, Lindsay? What do you want to know? Well, I understand that you don't think MacGyver's the music box killer. I was just wondering why. You mean you want me to give you a reason? I can't. I don't know why. I just believe him. talking pretty freely. He's aware of his, of his conflict between his delusions and the facts. Is he gonna go fast? Oh, John, come on. What I told you before, this isn't ballistics. I don't know what. But you know what? I think there's a good chance. Then take all the time you need. Thank you. Thank God he's off the streets. Can't hurt anybody else. Yeah, but too many women had to die. Way too many. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. You know what's going on. I need your help. You raped me, whether you want to believe it or not. You think Kevin got Blair to accuse you of rape? I didn't do anything to Gabrielle. I'm not the killer!